Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Privacy and this is going to be a series of tkinter and this is the first video of the series that is creating a window and starting a tkinter. Okay, so in this video we are just going to start using tkinter, we will create a window and that's all. So tkinter is the standard python library and uh, there are other cross platform libraries like wx python gtk plus and uh, pyqt2 but i prefer tkinter uh, there are simple advantages too as it is a standard python standard library and the other thing is, is um, we can use tkinter anywhere we don't need to import any other extra module if you have python installed you can t you can use tkinter okay so uh, we'll start making the program we'll first of all import tkinter so remember guys when you import tkinter this capital t we are going to use only for python 2.x versions if you are using python 3 versions then you are going to use small t okay so python this capital t for uh, python 2.0 and uh, for python 3.x we use import tkinter okay so that's all so this is uh, this is the module name that we are going to use for tkinter gui development okay but there are three ways to import tkinter the first one would be simply importing tkinter now when we import using just simple tkinter then what happens if we, if the suppose button is a function that uh, we are going to use from tkinter then we'll need to write tkinter dot button okay this way but this tkinter will need to write again and again for all the functions so this will be a kind of very active process, active process so what we are going to do is instead of importing tkinter we are going to write tkinter as tk so instead of tkinter now we'll need to write tk here okay so this is what I prefer personally and what I use and what we are going to use in the whole series but there is also another way of doing this if you just don't want to write this tk at all then what we do there is a third type that's from tkinter import star so this way what happens everything included in tkinter is being imported directly okay so what happens now you do not have to do you don't need to write any of the tk or tkinter in front of the module uh, you just need to write the name of the module and that's all it will do it starts automatically okay so let's start making the program now i will use this tk and we're going to do like this okay the means the module name and the functionality okay so the first part that we are going to do is tk dot capital tk that we that is going to create the window okay so this capital tk is the function which creates the window and then we are going to save it in a variable so main is now containing the window right so the second part will be main dot main loop what this main loop does is so whenever we render graphics on the screen in any programming whenever we render graphics what happens is we need to load the program again and again means the program should be looped again and again it should be iterated again and again and that is the reason the graphics get iterated it it, it loops right so that so so we can see the graphics if it don't loop then we can we will just just see the splash and then it will go off okay so what this main loop does is it loops again and again the part the part that we provide here the whatever program we provide here will be looped again and again and that is the reason we'll see graphics okay on the screen so the main loop functionality is for looping again and again so now we'll save the program and we'll see if the if the window gets created we'll run the module okay guys so you can see this window is been created with its default size so we have not changed any of the size of tkinter we have just uh, made a window and it automatically gets created to its default size okay so now if you want to change the size of tkinter what is the function that is now whatever we, whatever changes we need to apply will apply with the main because main is now the variable which contains the window okay so main dot geometry is the function and then 400 cross 400 is the size we'll set and now suppose we also want to give a title to the program that is creating 
window okay so this is the title we have created so this title functionality will provide title to the uh, window and geometry functionality will provide size to the window we'll check it out if this works alter f5 and see you can see the window is of 400 cross 400 size and the title name is tick enter you can even change this bitmap icon okay that will see in the next uh, later part of the series but you can even change this bitmap icon and uh, uh, this title has been changed the default default size is not right now we have set the size to 400 cost 400 and we have created the window so that's all guys this is a very simple program it's like five line program to start using tkinter and uh, in the next part of the series we'll also learn how, what are geometry managers and how to place widgets and what are widgets how many different types of widgets available and we'll start using it okay so thanks for watching guys thanks for all the comments and all the subscriptions and if you have anything regarding to tell me then you can simply comment below i'll surely help you thank you